Welcome to the Correct Test of Everyone. If you are new, my name is Vanessa. On today's DIY video, we're going to use Dollar Tree supplies to make this modern and super chic uh, long wooden candle holder. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook where I post super quick and easy DIYs and subscribe to my YouTube channel where I post new videos every week. Now let's get crafting. So I love this project that we are going to do today. And what I love even more is that all of the supplies are from the Dollar Tree. So we're gonna take five of the wooden crates. Um, you can find those in the craft section at the Dollar Tree. Uh, we're also going to need five of the tea light holders. Those usually come three in a pack, uh, but we're only gonna use five. Uh, the little wooden uh, cubes and uh, wooden skewers. Those are in the kitchen area of the Dollar Tree. And some gold and uh, silver beads. All of these items are available in the crafting section of the Dollar Tree. So let's get started. So the first step in this project is to stain the crates. I'm gonna use the Varitane wood stain in a dark walnut. Uh, it's uh, one of the darker stains, but I actually it's one of my favorites and it actually matches my decor. Uh, this is actually the most time consuming part of this project because I'm going to stain every um, part of the crates inside and outside. I usually do it with either a paper towel uh, or a brush. And I think that I'm going to move and use a brush to make it a little bit quicker. So let's continue with that. So now that I finished staining all of the wooden crates, along with the little wooden cubes, it's time to start to assemble um, these pieces together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the little cubes and I'm going to use them as um, feet on these crates. And I'm going to attach them using the Gorilla Wood glue and some hot glue for a quicker and tighter hold. Uh, so let's continue with that process.
So now that I attached the little feet or the little wooden cubes to each of these crates, it's time to attach the crates to each other. So again, I'm going to use the Gorilla Wood glue and some hot glue and I'm going to um, glue them to each other and I'm going to use my clamps uh, and I'm gonna let this set most likely overnight so it could uh, have a nice and tight hold so we can continue with the rest of the project. So let's um, put these together and continue with that part. So now the next step is to add this cord of elements to this candle holder and we're going to use the beads and the barbecue skewers. Now I had done a previous project which was a fail and I had stained these uh, barbecue skewers a bit. Um, so I had them already done. So what we're going to do is put a, two beads on each of the uh, skewers and then we're just going to hot glue them onto the candle holders. So I'm alternating between one silver and one gold. And the barbecue skewers are um, stained a much lighter color. This way it'll stand out. So let's do that part. Again, all we're doing is putting beads onto the barbecue skewers. And to make it even easier um, on some of them, I just hot glued the beads to the actual candle holder and then I just slid in the uh, wooden sticks. Let's continue with that part. So now that we're done with the decorative element of this candle holder, uh, the last step is to build risers for the tea lights. Uh, and I'm going to use the little wooden uh, blocks from the Dollar Tree or the Jenga game. You can find that in the toy section of the Dollar Tree. I'm going to build risers because the tea lights are um, shorter than the height of the wooden crates and I want them to be visible. Uh, so we're going to add these risers to each of these wooden crates and that's where we're going to hot glue uh, the tea lights. 
So what I'm doing is I'm hot gluing two of the wooden blocks to each other and then we're going to hot glue them uh, to the middle of the crates. Uh, let's do this part. So now that I've hot glued the risers to each of the crates, we're going to take the tea light holders and I'm going to hot glue them um, to the risers that I just built. This way it gives it a nice height and you can see them uh, from the top of the crates and that's the look that I'm going for. So let's finish that piece off and we will be done with this project and I am super happy with what, how it looks so far. Now this project is complete and I have to say it's one of my favorite projects that I have done. I really love the way it turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell to get notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. See you all on my next DIY.